What's going on guys? Coming at you with another video of the day. Okay, question for you. If you had to lose one body part, which would it be? I would choose my middle toe to my right foot because I think it's something I could live without and it wouldn't hinder much of my life. But what would you pick? Leave comments below. Today, I want to talk to you about this great word called patience. The first descriptive word in 1 Corinthians 13 that talks about love is patience. It says, love is patient. Now I gotta tell you, unlike other virtues that we can see being and becoming the value in them, patience is one that is harder to see because patience never feels great. It's a, a withholding of how I truly feel to give another person an opportunity to, for me to serve them, but as well give them an opportunity to grow as well show love. And one of the reasons I think it's so hard to be this is because when you're being patient, it's often because the other person is oblivious to what they're doing or intentionally doing it and you are withholding how you feel to give them an opportunity to either a change, uh, show them love, or whatever other reason you can come up with to say, I'm trying to show you that I care for you and this is what I think is the best response. Patience is not something that I think is easily done because it is such a submission of how I feel. And our feelings can have a lot of power. But not all feelings are worth uh, one expressing because often if it's not an emotion that builds somebody up, what is it doing? Um, if, if it's not an emotion that strengthens somebody or help someone in any way I it's hard you gotta ask the question is it worth sharing if it's only for personal gain is it always not worth it it's a valuable question to ask yourself is it always worth showing all of your emotions because I would say in honoring Jesus to say I will love you no matter what means I gotta sacrifice how I feel sometimes and that is hard and that is what patience is but in doing so it gives an opportunity for someone to be loved. It gives someone an opportunity to be served. It gives someone an opportunity to maybe not be so blind and remember the time that maybe you showed them patience and one day they might show someone patience because they first received it. Now it's a hard word to be and I think we could talk more about it but when I was thinking about this word patience, it's just a tough thing to be. It means withholding how you feel to serve and love the other person that they might either grow and change or it might just be to show them that you love them. Sometimes there's no lesson to come out of it other than to say I love you and I'm willing to show that by being patient when you bother me to the deepest parts of my being. Anyways, that's patience for you today. Jesus has called us to it and I hope if you ever encounter me and you're in need of patience, it's something you receive. And I thank you for all those in my life who've been patient with me. Have a good day, guys.